So I'm doing this video for all my keyboard geeks out there. And uh, fortunately I work in a TV studio so I have access to nice lighting when I want it. But this is my vintage keyboard collection. I'm gonna start wide and, and uh, kind of start from uh, the least cool to the most cool. But uh, this is my keyboard collection and yeah, some people say, well, man, that's kind of weird that you have a freaking keyboard collection. But you know what? I like computer hardware. I like it old. I like it new. But I particularly like it when it works well. And uh, these keyboards work really well. <clears throat> and way better than your average crappy keyboard that you get from your OEM when you buy a crappy OEM computer. So I'm going to get this thing going. There's not going to be any edits because I don't feel like editing. And I'm supposed to be at work right now, so let me get going. So this is a Model M, but this is an IBM Model M2. And this this is at the end of the, the line because, honestly, this keyboard just isn't as cool as the original uh, my Model, M, uh, Model M. Why? Because, let's just listen to it. You hear that kind of weird, you know, kind of cheap sounding they kind of made a lot of cutbacks on this board they made it smaller and the worst thing about it is that this model m2 doesn't work okay but it's it still got a cool factor i could fix it if i had the time um <clears throat> but the capacitors that control everything in the board power wise actually dry out which is like you know your your keyboard especially as expensive as this one still was compared to other keyboards shouldn't the electronics themselves shouldn't necessarily go bad you know it's not like it's you know generating a lot of heat or anything like that so it's still cool i want to buy i want to ref refurbish it and get it working again but i just bought it for the nostalgia found it in a thrift store just like i find all my vintage keyboards so next up <clears throat> is the dell at 101w now this is a cool keyboard now this is a huge jump from the keyboard that doesn't work as you can see, it's pretty much in perfect condition. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit when I got it, but these have Black Alps sliders in them. And they're a little quieter, but they, they pop real good. And this is what I use every day at work. And I love this keyboard. All my work neighbors hate it because it is loud, but they let, it lets everybody know that I'm actually doing work and uh, I'm not just goofing around. So I really like this keyboard. As you can see, it's nice, full-sized. And um, it just looks professional. You know, anybody who knows anything about hardware, uh, when they come into my uh, cube, they're like, yeah, that's a, that's a real keyboard right there. All right, so on to the next one. This is actually the keyboard from the first computer I ever had. And I was lucky enough to get the original Apple keyboard, the one that Steve Jobs hates. But anybody who actually knows anything about hardware, love. Because these also have black apps in them. Now, they don't click as hard as the other one. But you can hear, that's a very satisfying click. This is back in the old days when you actually had the power button on the keyboard. Now, that's, that's still cool. I wish they would bring that back. That's just a really cool, especially I work on an iMac a lot of times. And having to reach around. And the button, you know, on iMacs really don't work very well. So that's kind of annoying. I wish they would bring back the power button on the keyboard thing. I wish more people would do that personally because I just remember that was just such a cool feature. So this keyboard actually works on the ADB interface, which nobody has anymore. But you can buy, let me see if I can fix that, one of these little ADB adapters from like uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that for like 10 bucks and it'll work with your PC. I've never tried it on a Mac. Maybe I'll try it today when I get back in my office, but I don't know. But here, up next, drum roll, blah, 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 whatever, is the coolest keyboard ever made. And I was so amazed when I found this keyboard at a thrift store. Like, I just wanted to, like, run out of there and, like, poop my pants or something like that. But this is a 1993 IBM, there you go, Model M. Let me flip it around and show you the sticker on the back. You gotta show the sticker when you got your Model M. Here's my sticker, the Model M right there. I don't have my autofocus on. Let me see if it's got the date. The date is right here. My focus is a little off. Let me see if I can focus in. Boom. 
1993, December 8th. That's its birthday. And this is the Lexmark. It's um, the subsidiary company of IBM. And uh, this is basically the same thing that came out in 1984. But of course, it doesn't have the detachable uh, cable. And it has the mini PS2, which, I mean, you know, if you want to be picky, whatever. But I still dig it either way, even though it's not quite as cool as the older ones. I would like to have a detachable cable, but you know, I'm still on the lookout. I'm always on the hunt for some more vintage stuff. But as you can hear, yeah, this thing is, is clicky, man. It is like, I can't even bring this to work. The only reason I don't use it at work, first of all, I'm too scared that I might spill like my Coke on it or something, but it doesn't have a Windows key. That's its only flaw, but it's not a flaw because there were no Windows key when this thing came out. So this is it. This is my keyboard collection. I'm going to go back and so just let you listen. Boom. First one. A lot quieter, as you can hear. The AT-101 is a lot louder. And lastly, you, you can hear the springs jiggling around in that. That, that Model M2 is just... Uh, I don't know why I keep it around sometimes. But that's it. That's my keyboard collection. I actually use a Black Widow at home. Um, and I've got a couple of Logitech keyboards and stuff like that. I'm always trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my keyboards, but sometimes I give them away to people that I like, but I doubt anybody will be getting these anytime soon. Peace.